understand this. And it's tricky, okay, that this thing has an orbit, right? And it's not something that we force inside out. It's something that when in a position and rotation, it gets thrown inside out. Okay, so the risk conditions have a ton to do with that. Now, when you set up to a golf ball, go ahead and go and set up to that one. Actually, I'll back it up a bit. Right about there. Okay, cool. Get your good hands on there. Narrow, flurry feet. That's awesome. And show me, I'll have you hit a full one in a second, but show me P3. Good. Now rotate and let that thing unclick. I don't care where you hit it. Okay, let's have a look. Or miss it, right? So I'm exaggerating one here. So see how there's rotation? And that club is, like you could almost, the shape you could draw on the back of my left hand is almost a bit of a bowy look, isn't it? Subtle bow. Okay, because that club is about to get slung inside out. So you look great. So this is your P3. That thing's clicked still. Now you're about to engage a little bit of rotation here. We're right on the corner with the pelvis. And if we look at these hands, we'll slow that down. Right, and you can still see that that club is a bit out, isn't it? So our hands are in roughly the same place, aren't they? And this is this is the tricky thing, but I wish I could just, you know, say, oh, just do this, right? But this is why, you know, you're, you hit good shots, but they're fractional fades. This one was a bit of a shank, right? But a, the club is friction in the ball. The moment of friction is producing a leopard club path with a fairly straight face or slightly leftward face and pretty good fadey shots versus how this club is going to be a little bit traveling more from the inside onto the golf ball from this relationship, okay? So what I did? Yeah, sure. So I would say, you know, it's hard to see because it's not a great camera resolution, but I'd still say that there's, you know, you, you would have an – it's totally your call whether or not to be on the green line or to be on the red line, right? And if you were on the red line, guess what? That shaft would be over here, and the club face would be lower. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so the yeah, you know, so here my club is, right? So we're roughly in the same spot, but. You know, you made a comment of how your elbow feels and it feels bent and everything, and that's and that's perfectly normal. Okay, so come back over on the mat. So go back to P3. Okay, now right in here, do me a favor. Don't lower your arms at all and, and allow the left wrist to drop a business card. So what do I mean by that? Yep. Okay, do that again. Allow it to drop a business card. Okay. Good. Go back to the ball and relax a bit. Go back to P3. You can look at yourself over here. No, down there's fine. You look on the left screen, right? And here is dropping a business card. Here's really dropping a business card, right? So I don't necessarily want your right hand coming away from your, but that's more of a, where a right arm goes. And this right arm, you might have some shoulder tightness. And honestly, would I love this to be a bit more structured? Yep. But bottom line is, on the way down, a lot of good. If I ask you to just do this, I can promise you, check it out. Let's take this frisbee. Okay, got get hold of it, right? So you got it? Okay. When you're if you're gonna throw that frisbee into the net, like you're gonna throw it right in that net. Right? So turn your back to the target, step and throw it. Awesome. Guess what you did? Let me show you. You struck a good golf shot. So watch on the right screen here. 
this left thing has clicked. It's, you know, that the gizmo's clicked, isn't it? Yep, it's certainly clicked a little bit. And then look what you do. That's bowed like crazy now, isn't it? Where would this club be? It'd be back here, wouldn't it? So it's not like you can't do it. See how bowed and click that is? And then you pivot, don't you? You pivot, 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 pivot. And then this thing is still, boom, you hit a golf ball. And then it, and then it reclicks at some point over here. So it's not that dissimilar from how you just threw a frisbee, is it? Okay. So it is, isn't it? Well, I mean, a good friend of mine uses that all the time. It's like, so up here, what did you do? Think about it. You went, right? And you didn't try to have this crazy strong wrist, did you? Because there's no speed in the, the tension there. But you held this frisbee, you went this way, and then all of a sudden that bows. And you want to watch John Rahm in the, in the highlights today if he wins. Looks like he might. You know, he's got a fairly, look, at, look up his swing on YouTube. Fairly weak left wrist, you know, and then when he when he goes in the transition, I mean, he rotates so hard the club head stays back so long, not because he's holding it back, because his wrist is soft, just like you did when you didn't pull that frisbee and you held the frisbee and you swing and you swung it. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. So come on in here with that frisbee mentality for me. You know, bend over to the golf ball. Right? And now that frisbee mentality, let's go ahead and hit one. Okay? Give me another try. That's close. See that blue disc in your hand, in your left hand? It's not that dissimilar from how you hold it right here, is it? And I could darn near just fit that in there, couldn't I? Cool, love it. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's better. See? Look at that. Huh? Who's that guy? Isn't that cool? That a boy. Yeah. And it's gonna re click on that side. That's just fluid deceleration. Slowing down with style, okay? So this is you, you know, hucking the frisbee. And your right hand comes off a bit because you kind of stiff in the right shoulder. Just, you know, you know how to spring chicken, sorry to say. But that club is traveling in a nice, and here's the triangle I'm referring to. So watch this. And the direction of that is over here, isn't it? And that club is clear over here. All right, it's way back here. And then, and then you got some rotor motor, you know, unwinding you, relocating you a little bit more onto this left foot. And then look at that thing catch up and smoke one out there. So see where these hands are? Look at the nice forward lean. You're not really thinking about it, are you? When the when the left wrist is sort of relaxed and you add some of that rotor motor in there, you know, that thing overtakes, clucks whitey, and then you just enjoy the you know the benefits of it. That's best, you know, best swing I've seen here. You know, so that sucker's laying down beautifully. Boom. See how low the, low the club head is? And then you rotate and you collect it with an inside-out strike. Yeah. So let me show you the before. You know, and again, I thought you did a great job of what you, what you brought back from last year. But see, you know, like look at the difference, right? You know, so there's there's steepy fades, right? Look at this guy now. Look at that. That's night and day, right? This is kind of a little bit white, solid hit, but little wipey fade. And then there's a chicken wingy, you know, chicken wingy left arm. And then over here, you know, it, there's really not much chicken wingy left arm, is there? Left elbow turns down much better. Okay. That's your homework, brother. Good job.